Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the entire fragrance collection from Latin pop super mega star, Talia Sodi. So if you'd like to know about those fragrances, then keep watching. Now I've had these fragrances in my collection the past few months for transparency purposes. They were sent to me to review, but this is a line that I was actually kind of excited for. The reason being is I love when celebrities create fragrances. I don't think everybody likes celebrity fragrances. I do. And when you have like such a mega star like Talia, it's really interesting because she's not just a musician, she's not just an actress, she's a very savvy and just incredibly just ambitious businesswoman. Anything she does, she's always the best at. And as somebody who loves fragrance, I'd love to see what this talented woman like how she um, translates her talent and her passion for everything into wearable fragrances. So I was really excited to be able to try these. Now there are five scents in the line and all of the fragrances I find to be very wearable and beautiful. And I find that a lot of them are also very versatile and some of them are more appropriate, say for summertime or wintertime, others you can wear year round. Now, I am going to timestamp this video for each of the five fragrances. If you were only interested in one, you don't have to sift through the entire video. I'm not gonna be getting too crazy involved. I'm gonna talk about how the fragrance smells. I'm gonna talk about its dry down and its performance. But if there's one fragrance you're interested in, that way you don't have to sit through a long video. So let's get into it. The first fragrance we're going to talk about is Liquid Sun. Now the reason why I was super excited for this is because it has a top note of neroli in it. And I don't see neroli crazy utilized in celebrity fragrances. So I was excited to see what spin she would have with this scent. Now all of the bottles are pretty much shaped the same. They're really beautiful. They kind of remind me of like Art Deco style bottles. They are really pretty. So all of them are designed to be kind of this like beautiful glass bottle. And I feel like my favorite bottle out of all of them is this one because Liquid Sun is like it's clear, see-through, you can see the juice in there. I don't know, I think it, this the name of this fragrance translates best to presentation, just something I'm kind of interested in. Anyway. The neroli in this is bright. It's a very crisp fragrance. It's got a little bit of a dry down of musk in there. I find it to be bright and soft and warm and uplifting and inviting. If you're looking for a fragrance for summertime, this is a great one. And it was the one that I was really excited to see how she was going to take this neroli note. Is it going to be really present or is it just gonna be kind of sparkly a little bit in the background and then it kind of disappears after a bit of time. So I'm very happy that this fragrance from presentation to the name of the scent to how it smells is very cohesive, very smartly thought out, and it smells really beautiful. If you are a Neroli lover and you're looking for an affordable, beautiful Neroli dominant fragrance, this is a great one. The performance on this is mild. I get a mild longevity, about two to three hours. And the projection on this, for the entire time it's on your skin, is pretty present. I'd say about moderate projection. This is a fragrance you will have to reapply, but honestly, it's really beautiful and I enjoy it. If, you're like, if you like fragrances like Neroli Portofino, from Tom Ford, but you find it to be a little expensive. This is not, and I'm saying not an exact dupe, but this is still a bright, really vivacious, neroli dominant scent. You might end up enjoying this one instead. So I do really enjoy Liquid Sun. Now this next one is a beautiful color. I need to re-dye my hair this color. This is Azure Crystal. Now this is designed to be kind of a beach fragrance. It's supposed to be beachy and tropical. And at the same time, not like a stereotypical, like sunshiny, beachy scent. And that's something I've liked with all of these fragrances I've tried. There's been a bit of inspiration with each of them. They're not like a complete rip off of what you would think something would be. What I like about beachy scents is I really enjoy when they're skin scents. When they're really close to the skin, if you've ever been to the beach, even like after you've like gone to the, got taken a shower, you're eating dinner after you spent the morning at the beach, you still kind of have this beach kissed skin smell to it. It's really, 
quite attractive. It's one of the things I miss about going to the beach all the time. And Azure Crystals has that smell. It's coconut-y, it's a little creamy, but it's not milky, which I really enjoy. There's also a brightness to this, a saltiness to this, and it's just something really beautiful and pleasant on the skin. It does very much smell like beach kiss skin. I really enjoy it, and that's the best way that I can describe it. This isn't going to be one of those scents that's going to be a standout fragrance because it is very much a close to the skin scent. You might get a few whiffs of coconut here or there. Longevity is pretty decent, about four to five hours, but when regards to projection and sillage, it's not a loud fragrance, but that's one of the things that I like most about it. Next up is Blooming Opal. And this fragrance, when I saw the notes and I smelled it for the first time, I really, really liked it. And the more I wore it, wore it. There we go. The more I wore it, I found I really enjoyed this one. So first things first, you gotta like white florals for this one. If you do not like white florals, this is not for you. Don't get this fragrance. No. Get one of the others, not this one. This is a beautiful bouquet of gorgeous, just very decadent white florals. Now what I like about it is it has a balance between being slightly tropical, a little bit crisp, and a little bit musky. It's a very sophisticated silk-like white floral scent that's still very strong and very, very white floral. Now you're going to be like, oh, you're just saying white floral. Y'all know how white florals smell, especially fragrances that smell like a bouquet of white florals. It's not a very distinct specific white floral. They all kind of marry together into this beautiful just feast of florals and I love fragrances like that and I like that there's a little bit of a tropicalness to this, a little bit of a crispness to this, and a little bit of a muskiness to this. It kind of to me plays like a beautiful sophisticated timeless scent which is something that somebody would wear if they just wanted to feel everyday glamorous. You're wearing your really nice hat, your really pretty sundress, you're going outside to go to the grocery store and you just wanna look and smell fabulous. That's what this scent smells like. I like the fact that it does smell like an everyday scent that still has a bit of a sophistication and glamor to it. I think that scents like that are just really beautiful and a lot of people either go one or two ways. They might go super formal with something or super, super casual with something. I was gonna say super casual, califragilistic, no, super casual with things. And there's great, those, they're great scents that smell casual. They're great scents that smell formal. But what I don't see is people trying to take formal sophisticated and make it every day. And I love that this fragrance smells like that. It's not fussy, it's not crazy complicated, it's just a beautiful floral fragrance that has enough of two different distinct types of white florals to come together and just to make it smell really beautiful and elegant. If you do not like white florals, again, this is not the fragrance for you, friend. And this is one of them that is has great longevity, great projection, white florals tend to perform very well. So even though this is a great everyday wear it everywhere scent, if you do work someplace where people have issues with white floral fragrances, wear with caution. <laughs> because this is a beautiful, just very robust scent that has a lot of presence and power when you wear it. But again, elegant, sophisticated, but every day. It's really, really beautiful. Next up is Diamond Petals. And I think this is the most wearable and the most easy to understand of all five of the fragrances. Now, all of these fragrances are very accessible. They're not too challenging, save possibly for Blooming Opal. Again, if you have issues with white florals, but what I like about Diamond Petals is it just smells really beautiful, complimentary, slightly soapy, fruity, but still very elegant. And I think it's just really, really pretty. This is a great scent for somebody who likes more youthful fragrances, but still enjoys a balance of clean and fresh and fruity. And this comes together to create something really great. This has a bit of a nice projection the first hour or two, and then becomes a bit of a skin scent. So it kind of is loud and that's, you know, it's quiet. 
but the longevity on this is pretty nice. You get about four to five hours with this one. Now this next one I saved for last because I think this is the most special one out of the list and it's Absolute Amethyst. Now I love this bottle, this purple bottle. This was in my uh, fragrance, like rainbow fragrance video a few months back. I, I really like this bottle too. Not as much as the Liquid Sun because that one just everything kind of fits together, but this one is really beautiful too. But this is beautiful. I like all these fragrances, obviously, and I'm gonna kind of go a little bit at the end, but with Absolute Amethyst, this one to me smells the most high class, the most luxury. It's got a lot of different things going on in it that work really well together to create a beautiful olfactive experience. Now, I usually, and I haven't really mentioned notes too much unless I thought that they were very important. The important note in this is the coriander. There is a beautiful spice in the opening of this fragrance that I just think is perfect. And what that does is it balances out the fruitiness, fruitiness, not fruitiness, fruitiness, there we go. And there's also a bit of a booziness too. So you've got this kind of beautiful spice, bright, fruity opening, a gorgeous, luscious, very beautiful, just kind of smooth, sexy middle and just a really kind of beautiful semi-boozy base. And there's a lot of other notes going on in this, but it's those three things that kind of work together, the spice, the fruit, and the booze. Now the booze is barely there. It's really not apparent, but it does add a nice touch of elegance to this fragrance that works and doesn't make the fragrance too fruity. And then the spice comes along the coriander and it's kind of like a sweet kind of nutmeggy spice and it works so beautiful to just kind of zip through everything, give it a little bit of pizzazz, and just smell really different and beautiful and just supremely elegant. This is the fragrance when I first smelled it, I thought it was just impeccable, beautiful fragrance, definitely worth more money than what you would spend on these. These are very affordable fragrances. And overall, I was really impressed. If you like fragrances that are super fruity and you're looking for a little tiny different twist on something you can wear every day, that's a compliment getter, that's just really attractive, uh, sexy and sensual and just full of femininity, Absolute Amethyst is just perfect. Also, great longevity. This performs the best in regards to longevity, about six to eight hours on my skin and has moderate projection shiaz. So performance wise, this is also one of the best. So these fragrances from Talia are excellent. Price point wise, they're great. You're looking at spending under $75 for these full price. And I like the quality of each of these fragrances. Now for me, the one, if you were only to get one, I really like Absolute Amethyst. The reason why I like that one, like I said before, is there's a lot of layers to it. There's a little bit more complexity, a little bit more inspiration to that. And it just smells to me like extra special. But all of these fragrances I find to be just really beautiful. Sometimes with celebrity fragrances, people get the idea that a celebrity just walks into an office and picks one or two scents that are like on a counter and then they release those fragrances. But a lot of celebrities actually put a lot of time and effort and care into their fragrance lines. And I like to see that within celebrity fragrances. I see that a lot with Sarah Jessica Parker. I've seen it a bunch with brands like Beyonce does a really good job, Rihanna does an excellent job, um, Nicki Minaj. These are all um, Ariana Grande, let's mention Ariana Grande. There's a lot of inspiration behind these celebrity fragrances where these women are like, this is what I want, this is how I want to present myself in a liquid scented form. And I love seeing that. I love seeing a celebrity's personality, I love seeing a celebrity's um, take on scents and seeing their point of view, uh, who they are represented in a liquid. And that might sound weird, but that's one of the things that I love and I truly appreciate celebrity scents for that. And like I said, if you guys love celebrity scents, go to Among the Stars fragrance reviews, he's the best. But when we're talking about these fragrances, I think that you smell great, first and foremost. Secondly, these fragrances smell cohesive. What I like about them is they all smell very wearable. None of them smell too fancy and none of them smell too casual. 
There's not a lot going on in most of these fragrances, but what is going on is smart and correct. So with Liquid Sun, you have a beautiful bright neroli that's got, again, that kind of crisp, um, kind of slightly musky dry down, which is great for summertime. You have Azure Crystals, which is this beachy scent, which to me is very thoughtfully not a crazy loud scent. It's again, more of that kind of sun-kissed, beach-kissed, salt skin. You have a little bit of suntan lotion on you, you smell a little bit tropical, a little bit sweet, and it's just really gorgeous. Blooming Opal is a great mix of white florals and two different ways that are very popular for white florals to go, but they're balancing each other out and coming together to create like an effortlessly really easy to wear white floral fragrance that is an unapologetically white floral fragrance. Diamond Petals I find to be really beautiful and unassuming. I hate to say it's more crowd pleasing than all of them because I find all of these fragrances just to be really beautiful and crowd pleasing, but it's the one that smells least refined out of all of them to me, but it still is really very beautiful and very wearable. Again, if you like that clean, beautiful, kind of like slightly soapy fruity fragrances, Diamond Petals is great. And again, Absolute Amethyst is just stunning. I'm really impressed by this lineup of fragrances because I find them, again, to be really beautiful, well thought out, and wearable. And as coming from a celebrity who is a mega star, who is an intelligent and talented woman, this definitely feels like she had a lot of say in this line and not just what she thought that her fans would want her to smell like and would want to smell like, but also ways that she herself likes to smell like. And it's kind of bringing on a different part of her personality in each of these scents. And that's something that I love seeing with celebrity fragrances too. So I find these to be really quite beautiful. I've been enjoying them for a bit. And if you haven't had the opportunity to try them, definitely check them out. At the end of the day, I think these are gorgeous scents. I've really been enjoying them. And obviously, if you have to check out any of them, definitely Absolute um, Amethyst or Liquid Sun, I think would be the two ones I would recommend the most out of the line, but they're all terrific. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have had any opportunity to try or sample these fragrances, let me know what you guys think, positive or negative. I'd love to know what you guys, um, what your opinions are on this lineup and these scents. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I love seeing this channel grow and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.